recently I got to watch someone whose bright light had faded slowly start to light that world again. It was so surprising, actually. One of the moments when your jaw just kind of hangs open. You know, when it's dark and it's late at night and you get up, you turn the flashlight on your phone on or you flip a switch. And that's what it was like watching this person let their light shine. They started to turn certain lights on, listening to music that spoke messages of hope and kind of turning off the binge watching and all those shows that just celebrate hopelessness. Turned up the volume on people who were leading them to healing their wounds and turning down the volume on friends who only knew how to numb pain. So my heart was just filled watching all that happen. Then recently that light started to fade again. Friends back on the calendar, old music has been unmuted, former TV shows back in the Netflix queue. Self is trying to step back on the throne. And my heart is broken watching that happen. It reminds me of an old Cherokee legend. I'm sure you've heard it. An old Cherokee is teaching his grandson about life. And he says, a fight is going on inside of me. And it's a, it's a terrible fight. It's between two wolves. One is evil. He is anger, envy, sorrow, regret, greed, arrogance, self-pity, guilt, resentment, inferiority, lies, false pride, superiority, ego. And the other wolf is good. He's joy and peace, love, hope, serenity, humility, kindness, benevolence, empathy, truth, compassion, faith, generosity. And that same fight is going on inside of you, grandson, and inside of every other person too. So the grandson thinks about it for a minute and asks, Grandfather, which wolf is going to win? And the old Cherokee man says, the one you feed. Be careful, little lies, what you see. It's the second glance that ties your hands as darkness pulls the strings. Be careful, little feet, where you go. For it's the little feet behind you that are sure to follow. It's a slow fade when you give yourself away. It's a slow fade when black and white have turned to gray. And thoughts invade, choices are made, a price will be paid when you give yourself away. Cause people never crumble in a day, it's a slow fade. Be careful, little ears what you hear when flattery leads to compromise the end is always near be careful little lips what you say for empty words and promises lead broken hearts astray it's a slow when you give yourself away, 
it's a slow thing The black and white have turned to grey And thoughts in a vein and choices are made A price will be paid When you give yourself away People never crumble in a day Journey from your mind to your hands Shorter than you're thinking Be careful if you think you stand You just might be sinking Cause it's a slow thing When you give yourself away It's a slow thing Black and white have turned to grey And thoughts in a vein Choices are made A price will be paid When you give yourself away People never crumble in a day Be careful little eyes what you see Be careful little eyes what you see for the Father up above is looking down in love. Be careful, little lies, what you see. If you're part of our church in the Palms family, we are pursuing whole life generosity together. It's life that's in relationship with God, where we receive God's blessings with gratitude and release God's blessings to others. Yesterday, our friend Alice reminded us that God richly provides us with everything for our enjoyment. But most of us aren't experiencing that. So today, I want to ask you, what lights are you turning on in your life so that you can see what God is providing. What lights are leading you to a, a living relationship with God where you're receiving God's blessings with gratitude and then releasing them to others? And to ask yourself this question, is there some darkness that I'm living in that prevents me from seeing what God is providing Am I looking at anything that makes me covet more stuff for myself, more possessions, more money, it makes me want to hoard my own time and energy? Am I listening to anything that makes me ungrateful for God's blessings, like people who complain a lot and who get into my head, or even my own obsessive thoughts? You know, if I only had, am I worried about anything it makes me not want to release God's blessings to others. For some of us, our bright light, the bright light of generosity may have faded like this song talked about maybe even years ago. And so maybe the song will encourage you to turn on those lights. If you're a part of our church in the Palmas family, you've got an email devotional coming to you at 10 o'clock. I want to ask you to read it. If you're not on that list and you want to be, just reach out to me and I'll make sure you get that. Let's stop the slow fade. Let's turn the lights on for whole life generosity.